Hello everyone and welcome back for some more Malachite in Princess of Darkness. And this is probably going to be the final episode in the series because we only need three more counties to reform the dream. And uh, we kind of lucked into being able to imprison Mary the Black Molochim. So we can execute her whenever we want. And I figured we'll wait for it until, uh, until we reform the dream. And then we execute her. So she's gonna languish there for a bit. And uh, that's good. We also had a little kerfuffle at the end of uh, last episode. Because I tried to imprison one of my vassals and it didn't go too well. But we're all fine now. So we have a couple of things to do in court. That glistening... Oh, it's one of these idiots trying to buy my cat again. And... Um, if we don't let them, we're gonna lose a bunch of grandeur, but I'm gonna take that grandeur hit because you're not buying our cat. Right, we also started a inspiration, so we are... We're gonna see what we get from that, but let's hold court because it's been a while. Just for the first one, and my courtier Constantia comes forward, app apprehensive escort apprehensively ex escorted by her husband Isaias, who seems in bad temper. He spouts up, My lord, Baroness Rod Rodanthe is trying to seduce my wife, an affront to ignorance. She clearly lusts after my beautiful spouse and cannot contain herself. Constanti uh, Constantia is clearly embarrassed to have this aired so publicly and can barely bring herself to meet my eyes. And, I mean, I'm not gonna impress them, but... We shall see if there's any truth in this, I think. Okay, that's fine, whatever. Don't care that much. Okay, I love the size difference here. Because we have a freaking giant. Oh! Um. Yeah, we're recruiting him and we're vamping him. He is awesome! He's got some awesome uh, skills. He got a good prowess. He's a giant. Oh, I love this guy. Oh, he's lustful, brave, and zealous. Everything a hero should be. But, yeah, what I was saying is uh, I love the size difference of these. Because she seems very tiny. Like, is she a... Yeah, she's a dwarf. <laughs> oh, I thought so. Like, this is some Gandalf and Frodo shit right here. That's fun. Over the last few days, I've heard tell of a mighty hero of the peasantry who has won the hearts and minds of the common people through incredible deeds and matchless bravery. This hero goes by the name of Kotselj. Kotselj? Ah, oh, whatever. Has been defending the small folk from the Greek raiders and has now traveled the way to, uh, all the way to Constantinople to seek an audience with me. There is no doubt that Kochelj is a great hero, How however, my court are adamant that I do not elevate a commoner beyond their station. Fuck you, I'm the king, I can do whatever I want. Uh, he joins my court, becomes a knight, and every other knight loses opinion. Whatever. Deal with it. Who are you? Now, oh, god. Stupid... things. Okay. I don't think we're giving his title to him, because, well, he is our son. We can honor him as a hero, but that doesn't bring him to my court. Now, let's make him a knight. That's fine. We're gonna knight him as soon as we've knighted the other... No. We're gonna sire him as soon as we sire the other guy who... We got a famous person last time, and we are trying to make him a vampire. So... Our family is growing once again. It's excellent. My granddaughter, Countess Antonia, takes a turn and bending, turn bending my ear before the assembled court. Glorious great grandfather, give me the honor of of pouring your refreshment and ensuring their soundness. I will not let you down. I suppose these jobs have have to be done done by somebody. She barely likes us. We, I guess we have the offensive war malice. I haven't, I haven't been paying attention to that, but I guess we have been warring a lot. 
We are sweaty, we are a tyrant because of the war we did, because that was a war against ty tyranny. So, yeah, that makes sense. But, no, um, yeah, as a cupbearer. And she is, uh, how is she at it? Is she okay at it? It doesn't say. Well, you know what? Sure, you can be my tiny cupbearer. That's okay. But that is the that is court well spent, and oh, we already spent. Never mind. So, all oh, right, this is race armies. Never mind. We're not gonna go and fight this because we don't care. And I think he actually declared this. Yeah, he did, which is very foolish. And we're not gonna be a part of it. I mean, if they come over here, we'll beat them, but we're just gonna speed through until we either get some um, inspiration stuff, we sire this guy, and um, we're gonna start siring the other guy. My deeds are spoken with reverence and envy the world over, from foreign courts to village taverns, and with that come supporters. Today, Bozidar is ushered in and introduced as representing a small Nephilim brotherhood of Kachianon in Prusa. Most holy patriarch, my friends and I hear of wonder hair of a wondrous book I feel like there should be an A there wondrous book being made for you and I and wish to donate to your writer it would deeply honor us your majesty we saved for months oh isn't that nice well of course it is I who am honored uh, so we can invest some extra which gives some bonus there and might give slightly higher <laughs> is that all? No. Of course we're gonna chip in. It's just 25 gold. It's fine. The gift giver. Oh, it's it's our cat giving us gold again. We've had that one so many times, so we're just gonna skip it. Oh, we lost. That is unfortunate. It's not a big deal. Okay. So, we embrace our new child. Oh, he looks... He looks really cool. He looks awesome. Ah, I like that. Oh, he went from like one to <laughs> twenty. That's pretty. That's a pretty good job. And do we have a job for you? Technically, you could be a chancellor. The rest, not so much. Eh, you're just gonna be a champion for now and hang around and be a potential, like, potentially give you some holdings or something. Your new child has taken his first tentative step to the night. All right, uh, we'll let him be free spirited. That's fine. And I guess uh, we can just start siring the other guy right away. Your clan has a strong tradition of nobility. As such, it is easy enough for you to find the best teachers for your newest child. In this uplifting environment, a new noble of the night will be born. Hopefully, a loyal one. Ooh, that's some good martial and diplomacy, actually. No, wait, his marshal was absolute garbage, right? Yeah, but his diplomacy is good. And you're not even a powerful vessel. You are a duke. I don't know why you're not... Oh, you only have these two. Okay, so I guess you're not powerful. But I don't think we need to... Ah, let's not do that. Um. Yeah, let's... Let's leave that as is, and we won't put it, put him there. It's fine. Uh, we are gonna start. Uh, well, we made him a knight, actually, so we can find him in this list. He was twenty something, right? Where's the giant? Okay. How to best find him? Giant. There is. Oh, he was 27 even. Oh, he's gonna be such a good vampire. Oh, I'm looking forward to this. He's gonna be the greatest child uh, ever there ever was, at least prowess wise. But we gotta finish, finish uh, educating this child first, which we probably will before this. I don't think it takes a year. So far, your child has. Well, uh, maybe it takes exactly a year. So far, your child has followed your faith, mostly because you said so, blah, 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 let's just... 
Let's just get some faith. We are just fine on stress, so this is perfect. Get some free piety. Pay for your brother. And we can become friends with this guy, I guess. Oh, wait. Did you get conquered or... No, who who the hell? Are... Oh, okay. You are Nikea, and I guess you are fighting over here. Yeah, that's what's happening. Yeah, sure, whatever. Let's form a friendship with him. I don't think we're gonna fight them anytime soon. And get some piety. Your child has e easily adopted your own tenets as his faith. You are pleased by the progress shown so far. Expect nothing more than continued improvement. Uh, as a successful teacher, you also attained a deeper understanding thanks to this shared experience. Excellent. He's paying for himself. Like, we paid 200 piety, no, 500 piety to get him, but we've gotten 400 so far from just educating him. And behave yourself. That's fine. Mood of the clans. Oh, this is the marginalized thing. Oh, he became my heir? Huh, neat. That's fine. Your child has made a great first impression during his presentation. Perhaps a little too great, actually. Encouraged by your vassal, eager to throw a wrench in your plans, he has started to have delusions of grandeur. Obviously, this is way above his station of power right now, but the impudent whelp is almost openly plotting for his future tenure as, as your heir. You will have to rein this one in. Oh. He got a press claim on Thessalonica. That's annoying. Yeah, whatever. So, let's see. Okay, this is just an Inquisition cell. That's fine. So, we're not gonna have any problems right now. You can go away. You can go away. You can go away. And you can go away. And apparently we have some poor control. No, that's not the right one. This is the control one. And yeah, okay. Nikea needs some control. That's fine. Oh, ransom. Um... Sure, whatever. I don't care. So, next child. Oh, he's gonna be so good. Charmed vessel. Oh, Simon is doing well. We have had that one before a bunch of times too. At least he's not pi pissing and scratching his stuff up, so that's good. So, let's embrace him. And let's have... Okay, he did not... Fair. He got to keep his hair, which is very, like... It's very uncommon for Nosferatu if you look at all my children. Like, he kind of has hair. And uh, this guy has hair, but the rest of them, not so much. But you are 41, that's pretty good. But you didn't get much of my stuff, actually. I feel like... Oh, you're scaly, too. <laughs> uh, should give him some prowess, actually, because he has natural scales built into him. But... Oh, well, that would have been fun. But he is uh, actually not going to be a great marshal oh, um, commander, probably, but he's a very good champion. So that's great. Well, we'll let him figure it out on his own. And um, gain isolated. Oh, or we become rivals. Lately, you have been... You haven't been able to take care of your child much. You hope that this newfound freedom would result in some interesting insight uh, Coachelli would discover on his own, but not quite. Still resenting you for being turned into a vampire, this unruly neonate has started publicly doubting your authority and not answering your rare summons. They could escalate quickly if, not, if you do not stop this behavior. So we need to talk for a year, I guess. Oh shit! I was just gonna conquer this and... Good job, vassals! I think that's all we need. <laughs> My son and heir, Theodore Metocrates, insists that the funds I have supplied him with are not enough to create an artifact worthy of my of my stature. Alright. I guess I realize he changed his appearance a little bit. Because I didn't remember him doing a, an artifact. But then I realized, yes I did. Because... He's just a little bit different now. Um, yeah, we can we can spend money. We got money to spare. Oh, what happened to our... Oh, because we're isolated. Right. 
Um, where is isolated? Um, I can't find isolated. I figured it would be one of these, but I guess not. I guess it's full. Ah, whatever. Um, pretty sure it's because we're isolated. So we're gonna... We're gonna lose some opinion and levies and taxes and all that stuff, but... Really? Education, matters of faith. So far, your child has followed your faith mostly because you said so. Obviously, though, he is far from understanding the inner workings of the beast and how to deal with it. You will have to take some time to start this part of the teaching or hire someone learn it to do it for you. Yeah, we can take the piety, that's fine. Tempted by gold. Your new child has proven quite quirky in his adaptation to vampirism. He thinks that his new condition is best used for making money. He talks all day about how immortality means easy investments, new opportunities and not such nonsense. As you sigh, you're, uh, you console yourself by thinking that at least it's a better hobby than trying to murder you, but you might still want to bring him out of this phase. Ah, uh, here's your damn gold knock it off. Inspiration, consider your opinion. My writer Theodore Metocrates Updates me on his progress, droning on about limits of quill and desk as my mind reels with bold ideas for my book. Writing may not be my personal forte, but that does mean I can't have a say how my money is spent. Um, okay, 61% chance of getting a slightly higher quality. 53 of higher quality, and... You know what? More often than not, this will have a positive effect. But of course we fail the roll again. We those specifically things that are sixty percent, we seem to always fail. It's just inevitable. It is time for your child to be formal presenta presented. Okay, so we got this. I mean, I don't hold it personally, but we expanded, so we should absolutely be able to. Because that expander our realm size by three. So I don't know why that didn't count. Oh well. Um, no. Uh, how about you? That's only two. Allied with blah blah blah. Uh, I don't know. Creed is probably just two. Yep. Do we have a... Do we have a truce with you? We do. How about you? Fighting a bunch of wars. Oh, but I guess you are just a stray. I need a target. Hmm. That's two. Oh, it's Lord Mithras. Aren't you supposed to be in England? What the shit are you doing here? Yeah, there you are. I guess you inherited it, probably. No. No. Come on. Why is everyone the same religion here? Oh, did... Did you... Did you conquer Helen of Troy? Or no, this is Hel no, this is Menele. This is Helen. Oh. Okay. Good for you, I guess. That's two. Everyone just has two. This is annoying. Probably. Okay, that's just just that little thing. So let's take Pirin. That's fine. Let's we just take one, then it's going to be easier to expand later. Uh, let's give him a hook. It's fine. I don't care. Let's send everyone over there and kill him. And the comfort of a friend. There are a few things I enjoy more than Matriarch Sofida's company. She quietly listened to all my trouble, helping me put them in perspective. After a while, I realized that it wasn't as bad as I had m imagined. After this short break, I feel more at ease than I had in a long time. I'm lucky to have a friend. 
Yes, she's also your your wife. And education finished. You've done what you could, blah blah blah. Same thing as always. Snake at court. I'm heading for my chambers to enjoy some blessed sleep when I hear a faint rustle from a window. Just a wind, I think. Until the wind starts to speak. Costantia, open up, my sweetheart. It is I, Rodanthi. Push the shutters open. Lo and behold, a woman has climbed up Constantia, Constantia's window. It's Baroness Rodanthes of Ol, of Olbasa. Olbasa. Um. Okay. I don't. I, I don't care really. But good for you. I hope you. I hope your kids have fun. No, Simon will stay with us. If you're allergic to a cat, then it's your own damn fault. Oh, now I can. I guess it just needed to update. Okay, so that's all we needed. So we're gonna reform the dream and we finally got this, so... I guess we're even better at murdering people. We can give this to... Well, we have new children. Hold on. You. You want a title? Have uh, Pirin. I just realized Pirin has been an interesting thing. Because we started right over here as a one county guy. We took Rhodopis and we were going to conquer Pirin. But that's when we lost our liege and uh, everything just cascaded out of control. And this has just been, not been conquered since the first episode, where we were gonna conquer it the first episode, but it just never happened. That's interesting. It's, hold that, it's been holding up for a long time, and I've just not cared, because it's not been in any of my duchies. It's been in... Which duchy does it belong to? Uh, oh, it's Bulgarian. I guess the Bulgarian duchy, but... The Kingdom of Bulgaria is over here? That's... That's weird. I guess Bulgaria also... Yeah, it encompasses that too. Bulgaria is pretty big. Okay. Um, right. We are gonna reform the dream. I hope Michael is watching. So do I. Dreaming again. Uh, they have come bearing gifts. Powerful canines from across Europe, eager to see the new ruler of Constantinople. As they enter your richly decorated throne room, you ask yourself how many will have propositions, threats or daggers waiting for you before the end of the night. You will also idly wonder, was, Mike, was this Michael's plan all along? Did he know that his dream required a change of leadership, a fresh w vision? You will probably never know. What you do know is that your illustrious guests all want to learn something tonight and their gifts are part of this scheme. Michael, self-proclaimed Archangel, should, I, should have refused such worldly offerings or even be offended by them. But you refused... But if you refuse as well, you will truly be seen as Michael's heir, but perhaps the dream needs to take a new path under your leadership. You can make the first move right now, will you? I mean... We have been uh, following in Michael's footsteps this entire campaign. Do we... Do we... Like, alter course now. This will make us a living legend. It will make us politically secure for 250 years. Um, double our monthly prestige. Direct, uh, improve the direct vassal opinion and... Basically be impervious to hostile stuff. And uh, Clan Nosferatu will gain a bunch of renown. Which I don't really care about. And increase in splendor. They know who I am. This choice is available because you're playing as Malachite. You will take the long road. Receiving the dead codex of legacies of faith. Most of your vassal will convert to it. Huh. So... We would change our... We will take the long road re reviving the Codex of Legacy's Faith. Most of your vessel will convert to it. Okay, so there is a special one specifically for us, which is excellent. Because uh, 
a few skips, gifts and they know who I am will have the same effect. Plus the like all the prestige, all the fame, all the political secu uh, security, all the renown and extra splendor and all that. So we're obviously going to go for this. We could accept gift and walk our own way, but we have our own special thing and we get so we get best of both worlds. So they know who I am. We're a living legend. We are a religious icon and we have a legendary splendor. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> I guess I should have waited for it cuz he's no longer or our courtier? Why? But he is. Oh! Because that event like unticks it and put it like und undoes things and puts it back together like instantly. So he was he wasn't our vassal for like a calculation but then he was again so I guess we lost that thing which is unfortunate but oh well. And everyone should have converted, shouldn't they? I guess not. But he is our court chaplain now. That is fine. Because he's very good at it. Oh, and we have Codex of Legacies. Which is... I guess this is uh, uh, Michael's own faith. And our faith was basically deifying Michael. So, the Cainites of Constantinople didn't adhere to the six traditions of Cain. Instead, the Bruja Tribonius created the Codex of Legacies, a collection of precepts that was meant to cement the rule of, of the Trinity and the three ruling clans, the Toreador, Simice, and Ventru, a council of three que uh, que quesitors. Quesitors? Uh, one from each of those three clans supervised the Codex and judge those who broke the tenets. Well, now it's run by the Nosferatu, so feck off. Yeah, bastards. So we are the head of uh, the house of Malachite, but who is the head of... Do I understand? Is you. Who are you? Oh, I guess you're like... Are you are you the child of of uh, the Baba Yaga? You might be. Yeah, you are. You are a direct heir of the Baba Yaga. That's why you're. That's why you're the head of the Nosferatu right now. And I mean, I get it. You should be as well because, well, that's fine. We're not really following in the footsteps of Nosferatu anyway, uh, because we are more following Michael. But we have some more things to do. First off, let's just deal with our core troubles. That's fine. A pallid individual who looks as she sp spent her entire life skulking underground is lurking in the corner of my throne room. Oh, it's just a secret passive thing. Uh, let's just get some peepholes. That's fine. But it is time to kill Mary the Black. And I like the music that started. This is very fitting for uh, for Diablery. Oh, we can torture her a little bit. Oh, we lose the stress from it. <laughs> that is excellent. Might discover a secret if Mary Malokim has one. Uh, or, ha or knows about me. So, her or mine. So, torture her. I feel like I'm... I'm allowed to torture her <laughs> because she killed Michael, so she's gonna die. But first, we're just gonna have a little bit of torture. A, li a little bit of torture. Like, sure, we're pious and we're supposed to be a good man and all that, but vengeance, our vengeance shall be savored. Okay, she's a fourth, ge fourth generation. Whatever. Fine. It wasn't a good a good secret or anything. Execute her. We will diabolize her. Or should we burn her? 
because she is she's a heretic and uh, I mean isn't that what you do to to religious enemies but no we are di diablerizing her that just feel feels right execute her and uh, that is basically everything we wanted to accomplish in this campaign Michael's murderer is dead oh we've killed a lot of people well not a lot of people but all right we've actually assassinated a bunch of pe a bunch of people we Executed you for some reason. I don't even remember you. I was... Oh, it was just 50 years ago. Don't know why I don't remember it, but... Yeah, whatever. But... Mary the Black. Murderer of Michael. We have finally killed her. We have restored uh, Michael's dream. And... Uh, yeah, there's not much for us else to do. We can found another holy order. Because uh, I guess we don't have any have one anymore. Because we changed faith, but that's fine. So yeah, I'm pretty ha happy where where we ended up now. So let's pet Simon. And uh, with that, I think we're gonna end this episode and this series. So I hope you enjoyed the series. I have. I I've had a lot of fun doing it. I, it's been ups and down, like not in fun, but in difficulty. Because we started as Philippopolis. We've... I wish there was uh, one of those uh, time-lapse things that you get at the end of uh, Warhammer campaigns. But we started conquering like this. Our leash got conquered. We bent the knee to Montano. Is he still alive? He seems to be completely wiped off the face of the map. Uh, you're not even... Right, you are... You're Banu Hakim. You're not... You're not the Sea of Shadows or the people who live with them. Where's Montano? I need to find Montano. Montano... Let's do like that and search everyone. There's Montano. He's still alive. He is a count over a little bit of thing over here. Yep. So we bent the knee to him. We started conquering while bent the knee like north and stuff. We formed King of Bulgaria, broke free, and then start, just started going nuts. So it started pretty hard. But once we bent the knee, it was easy for a little bit, but then it got hard again. But yeah, it's... I've had a lot of fun with this campaign. I hope you've had a lot of fun too. And uh, I'm just gonna stop rambling and uh, just end this episode. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. And if you did, consider leaving a like, comment and subscribe. And uh, yeah, if you have any suggestions on another campaign, then I'd love to hear it in the comments. Other than that, we'll see what the next one will be, because I will definitely come back soon to Crusader Kings and World of Darkness, because honestly, World of Darkness is... I Okay, I really like Crusader Kings. I think it's a great game, but I just have so much more fun when it's with the World of Darkness mod. It's, uh, it's an excellent mod that just makes a good game better, so... I'm definitely coming back to this soon, but I don't know as what or as where or anything like that. So if you have any suggestions, please let me know. Other than that, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.